Hello, and welcome to episode 17. In the episode just before this one, I finished proving that Manny Calavera is gay. In this episode, you will see how this knowledge really changes how you view the guy. Playing him is entirely different if you really know who he is. However, I do for the most part take a break from all the serious stuff in this episode. You can't really be too serious about a swimming pool-sized cat litter box. So, enjoy. So, I just showed you that Manny isn't interested in women. Not Carla, not Inez, not Meche. Nobody. But that doesn't mean he's loveless. If you know anything about Freudian symbolism or the Lotteria, there are enough hints in the game to realize he's gay. Now, if you played this game and you never noticed this aspect of Maddie Calavera, don't feel bad because it's very well hidden. He's so deep in the closet in his Rick costume that even Double Fine didn't notice that he was gay. You can tell by the loading screen, Manny and Meche here are together, a couple. And yet Tim Schafer, when he played this game on a video, was not happy with this loading screen. He much preferred the original one that did nothing but play a sound. It could be because when Manny tells you over Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living son. And over. You think she'll come in tonight? Who? My special lady? No, Meche. You know. And over again. Ah, he still thinks I'm in love with her. And that he doesn't love Meche. Could be he means it. Even in this building in this private room where him and Carla should have been doing it, there is this blimp of loneliness here. The one that reminds him how alone he is. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Now he's just trolling her. It's like he wants to tell her that he doesn't love women, but can't. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! You know, people didn't like Manny when he was alive, either. And I threw some ideas out there. Maybe it's because he was a workaholic, he was working too hard to make human connections. Or maybe it's because he was so materialistic he valued money and failed to find love. Or maybe he was a mobster. He was so into organized crime that, and all that backstabbing and stuff, and that's why he's got nobody living to care for him. And maybe that's why he has to work off his sins in the afterlife, for having failed to live a good life. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. What he says when he looks at this blimp tells you that he died completely friendless and estranged from his family. He literally has no one living. Even mobsters have a family. Even workaholics have co-workers. But what if all his friends abandoned him and his family estranged him because he's gay? Wouldn't that explain a lot? Wouldn't that explain why he's hiding himself behind this Rick costume? That would explain how desperately he's running after Meche, while insisting he doesn't love her. And it explains his seeming avoidance of her. When she finally shows up, he can't make himself seem interested in a woman. That explains why he flirts with women so hard and then can't ask them for anything besides their metal detector. 
He tries to be what everybody wants he tries to be. Rick, he tries to put little romantic tables in Calavera Cafe. And yet, is he succeeding in living a good life here after death? Does he deserve the golden ticket out of here? Going down. Now, in the blue casket, he was accused of not knowing anything about truth or beauty. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. By beatnik socialists who cheered for a poem about Maximino's cat. Now, I think he does know truth and beauty. His bones are truth. Bones are something that even death doesn't change. He always talks the same, with the same accent. His bones are unchangeable truth, his core. Before we get to beauty, I want to remind you that Manny in year two is dressed like this card. The dandy is clearly gay, but people pair him with La Dama anyway. And if you look here, that's the moon. This is the moon lotteria card. The saying for the moon lotteria card is the lantern of lovers. Seriously, the moon lotteria card is the lantern of lovers. So here we have Velasco and Manny under the moonlight. And if you interact with the moon, It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone, and I thought to myself how the moon that, that night, night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and, and the reef where her body was, was strewn. I like the details about this recitation. First, Manny stands there alone while talking about standing there alone. And then they talk about the light of the moon together, and their heart's true delight. The last line about a dead body in the water, that just makes it all sailory. But it's a woman's body. The woman's love is dead. I want to emphasize that reading poetry does not make one gay, which is why I thought Manny was straight the first two times I played it. I mean, the blue casket is full of completely straight stoned poets. Reading poetry while dressed as the dandy, under the light of the moon, with another man, in a game full of lottery symbolism, that is a different story entirely. Together this time, it shone pale as bone, as I stood there alone, and, and I, I thought, thought to myself how the moon, the moon that night cast, cast light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and the reef where her body was I strewn. used to wonder why he wouldn't read this poem in the blue casket. Then I realized that the blue casket is about being fake, and this is the real thing. Reading it there would cheapen it. Betraying truth and beauty in the blue casket, I think would go against Manny's bones. He keeps things like this secret to himself. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. He sees himself as heartless because he can't do what everybody wants him to do and love Meche. As you can see, being familiar with the Lotteria really makes you see this game in an entirely different light. Moonlight, to be precise. So thanks to the Lotteria, you now know that Manny wants to get onto Velasco's ship 
not just to save Meche, although his quest to prove it to the world that he can do the right thing by Meche is real. What he really wants to do is to run away from his cafe and his costume and to be in a ship with Velasco. Now, there's a meme going around my favorite ship. I have to say that the uh, Manny and Velasco is my favorite ship. They should totally ship out together. Sadly, Velasco stays in Rubacava, but could always wish that Manny followed his heart. And now you know why Manny styled his cafe after Rick's Cafe Americano. It's not because he wanted to shelter refugees, he's done a pretty poor job of helping Lola and Meche. Rick is a straight guy who's doing his best to avoid his female love interest. In a way, even though he asks about her all the time, Manny wants Meche to show up, even less because it'll betray his costume. And that's why he accidentally stepped over this fence. Velasco thinks it was on purpose. This is gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish him out? I don't... He was soldiering on through the woods after Meche. And then at the end, he just walked off because he couldn't soldier on anymore. And that's why he's such a workaholic. He's working really hard because when he's working, he doesn't have to think or feel any of this. And his hard work paid off, but he's not tied to the dollar. Another visit from the ghost of capitalism, rattling the chains that restrains him, his umbilical cord to the almighty dollar. He's working so hard for so much money because he's running from himself. So there's that mural of Meche with Domino. He's biding his time waiting, and she's got hearts on her, the love interest. Manny? The shadowy reaper has eyes. Velasco wants to see a union Can card. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny, are you going to start moonlighting, or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. That wasn't a denial. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. The careful observer will notice that it makes no sense to use money for collateral. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Isn't there always one more quest? And now you can imagine how lonely he feels, standing behind here watching all the people in love. Putting himself through all of that, because that's what he thinks other people want, so at least he'll profit off of it. Can you imagine the amount of effort it takes to be this phony all the time? It's astronomical.
All those boat sounds follow him, though. You hear all those boat sounds? Every time the boat sounds, I bet you he thinks about Velasco. I wonder if the boat sounds make him feel less lonely or more. You see the top of this elevator? They used to make lamps in this style. And those lamps are worth a lot of money now. If you see one, pick it up and sell it. When Manny stands at these crossroads, it looks like he's got plenty of choices that he could go any way he wants. But really, this is a bandersnatch choice. And there's only one way to go. And over here, there is one more thing that Double Fine messed up when they remastered this game. It looks like you can just walk in there, but it doesn't do anything when you try. But if you use tank controls, you can retrieve the original content of the game. That's where Velasco lets us store the bone wagon. I've tried. Only Gladys can get these doors open. You know, the land of the living doesn't have enough lever-based transportation systems. That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. This is a rather plain and unsightly back entrance to Maximino's cat track. Down here, there's a big crowd of what looks to be sailors on shore leave. I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Now why would a former salesman and club owner feel so antisocial? Both of those are people facing roles, it's not like he's an engineer or something. You have to factor in how deeply he is in the closet for this to make sense. It takes effort to be fake all the time. It takes effort to keep his act up. And he'd rather be alone than do that. Wow, somebody really liked this yeah, cat. Yeah, Olivia. It's her favorite cat. They don't have much use when they're alive and stuff, they don't have much more. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacaba for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in this is lead. a hint to a puzzle we haven't found yet. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. But it also possibly identifies this cat as a Lotteria card. It doesn't quite look like this card, this deer. It's not red. It is, however, very fast, and it didn't see what hit it. The saying for the venison is, the deer did not see a thing. So it's kind of like the boots of blinding speed in Morrowind. It's so fast, it can't see what hit it.
Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Worse than death is rich coming from the Grim Reaper. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh no. This cat litter really needs changing. See, this is why I don't have a pet. If you want to offend every part of Manny, his bones and his fine clothing, you can try and tell him to pick up a cat turd and place it gently inside his tux. <laughs> And when the Joker-style laughter dies down, he flips you off. There's no way to see if his middle finger was really up, but the gesture is really unmistakable. It's the VIP pass for the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. But when the time comes, he forgets and shows it to Gladys anyway. Bit of a time loop going on. This puzzle is actually quite hard, because by now, you've given up using the scythe on anything. Hey, you can hear the metal detector beep when the scythe is out. And if you put the scythe away, it stops. So there's nothing beeping right now, but when you take the scythe out, there's the beeping. Aha! They lost the opportunity to put a cat turd search puzzle in this game here, don't you think? A little stinky, but it could be worse. So this... Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. Cat Turd Pool is sadly the closest thing to a beach that Metal Detector will experience. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. You can actually open one of these cans as one of those see it now and forget it forever hints this game is good at. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. It doesn't like things that are sort it of alive. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. And that was what he needed there. The next race will begin momentarily. He's a club owner who can't handle crowds. The Grim Reaper likes his clubs like he likes his women, dead. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And I really hope you do all those things like uh, like, share, subscribe, yada, 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 hit the bell, because that will make Google recommend this video to other people slightly less rarely. Um, any little bit helps? The next one is going to be short. 
I caught Manny watching the cats race. I didn't even know that was possible.